Here are five tips to help you manage all of your repurpose.io workflows. The first tip for you today is to know what your source content is. So if you go to your repurpose.io account, you go to connections, you can see all of your different sources and you can see all your different destinations when you connect your platforms. And so for me, I made the decision to pretty much make my source connection TikTok. So when I create TikTok videos, that is the initial trigger for all my workflows. So really all I do is focus on my TikTok videos and I know that that TikTok video will go to all the different destinations such as Pinterest, YouTube, Google Drive, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. So tip number two is to know the layout of the land for repurposed audio. So knowing where all the tab is due and what, where things are. So you have your workflows where you can obviously see what your, you know, with the workflow name, what publish mode it's on, the status, the total videos, you can view the content and set up different settings with a little cog here. You have your connections tab where you can add new connections. You can see your sources and destinations. We have our templates tab where you can create your own templates or you can use predefined templates. We have a calendar where you can see which videos were published when. And um, so it's all in one spot for you. So we have our affiliate area. If you want to be an affiliate, you can check out all the different resources. And then we have a resource tab where you can see tutorials. We have a help center, contact our support team onboarding video, mini course, video cheat sheet. On the right side, you can see your different profile, billing, affiliate area, logout, terms of service, privacy. And on the bottom right, we have our little chat bubble. Step three, if you're new to repurpose.io, then using our resources tab on the left side will definitely help you set up your workflows for the first time. And this is making sure that you don't have any mistakes um, because it is really nice once all your workflows are done because you don't have to worry about it, but setting it up the first time is really important so you don't have uh, errors moving forward. So we do have tutorial videos, which um, goes through step-by-step -step with Roy. You can auto publish short form content, download or backup your videos, create clips from existing content. You can just take a tour with repurpose.io. And so depending on what you click, we will literally help you set this up step-by-step. -step. So there's no guesswork. So use these resources for us that we've created for you so that you don't have to do all the guesswork yourself. After you've been repurposing purpose.io for a little while now, I would say test it out, see what you like and what you don't like with your workflows. And then you can go through all your workflows. For example, like this one is from Instagram to TikTok. You can go to the settings tab and say, what kind of settings do I really want to change? Maybe I want to add an intro to it. Maybe I want to add an outro to it. Maybe I want to exclude videos that have certain hashtags because I don't want that to be repurposed to certain channels. So there's a lot of customization that you can do. So after testing for a little bit, maybe with just the basic things, you can start to look at the different settings that we offer here at repurpose.io to make sure you get the most out of this software. And lastly, repurpose.io is very hands off once you get your workflows going. Like I said, I have mine on auto publish. So whenever I um, post on TikTok, it goes to Snapchat, Pinterest, Facebook page, uh, LinkedIn, Pinterest pins, that all happens without me doing anything. However, you do every once in a while want to check your connections. You want to go to your um, connections tab to make sure you don't have to reconnect anything. Sometimes certain platforms kick you off uh, and some of them times they have an expiry date. So you do need to um, re up it as well. And then also go to your calendar to make sure that, you know, any videos that you thought were going to be published, didn't get published. And normally there's an error and it says why. A lot of times it has to do with your connections or something went wrong. So just monitor that every once in a while and make sure that the videos that you intended to publish were getting published. And if for whatever reason you can't figure out why, then we can definitely help you on our support team. So thank you for staying with me for the five tips that I have come to find that helped me manage all my different repurpose.io workflows. If you have any more questions about this process, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. If not, watch this video right here. It will help you with your repurposed.io journey as well.